Welcome back to Views with Hughes, your Jennifer News. This is Jerome Hughes, and if you have done so already, go ahead, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell notification, so that way you'll be notified of future uploads and updates. So, coming in from New York Post, Bud Light sales plunged 24% in latest weeks since Dylan Mulvaney disaster. It says here that Bud Light suffered its fifth straight week of worsening sales drops since the Dylan Mulvaney controversy began. Now, this is when Bud Light decided to go ahead and partnership with trans influencer from tiktok dylan mulvaney okay so dylan mulvaney is known for being transitioned to a woman where mulvaney um started a social media following on 365 days of being a woman all right so this stoked doubts about whether the mega brand can recover as the crucial summer beer drinking begins nationwide retail sales of Bud light sales dropped 23.6 percent versus a year ago during the week ended may 6th slightly worse than the 23.3 percent decline for the week ended april 29th according to data from bump williams consulting and nielsen iq data sales of other anheuser-busch brands kind of like Michelob, Johnny Appleseed, and others. I just looked them up. I don't drink alcohol, so don't hold me to that, okay? Albeit um, slow at a slower rate than the week before. Those included Budweiser um, down 9.7. Those included Budweiser down 9.7% versus an 11.4% drop, drop a week earlier. Michelob Ultra down 2.9 versus 4.3% and natural light down 2.5 versus 5.2 than the previous week now this it says here this seems to be where the brand's weekly declines have started to settle falling in that negative 20 percent range over the past few weeks says bump williams chief executive of the consultancy said about light i wonder if this is going to be the floor highly doubtful i'm highly doubtful because of the fact that you've seen the different reaction of people out there who are now former Bud light drinkers or customers you also saw the reaction of Kid Rock when he took his rifle and shot up all the um big cans of um all the cans of Bud Light. You also saw how um certain country uh, singer, I forgot his name like like that again, refused to go ahead and have the um the sales of Bud Light promoted at the show, as well as changing the lyrics of his um country country song to Coors Light. Okay, so meanwhile, rival beer brands competing against Bud Light, the number one beer in the U.S. generating revenue of $4.8 billion last year, are grabbing market share at a faster clip as Anheuser-Busch grapples with the fallout over its ill-fated tie with the transgender influencer that launched April 1st. Sales of Pops Blue Ribbon were up 21.6% in the week of end of May 6th, slightly more than their 18.9% spike of the previous week. Miller High Life gained, excuse me, 10.4% in sales compared to an 8.3 bump over the same time period the previous week, according to Bump Williams and Nielsen IQ data. Now, this um, Williams was quoted here again. I think the Bud Light drinker is waiting for a genuine and sincere apology from Enhanced Bush and crystal clear communication on exactly what happened and how important the Bud Light drinkers are to the company, Williams said. But some question whether these and other promotions will be enough to reverse the extremely negative public sentiment towards Anheuser Busch and the Bud Light in particular. Kind of like what that on particular VP of marketing when she went on ahead and like some time before and it was the video was leaked out there where she's looking to basically turn the company woke. In other words, making it more diverse, inclusive, and no longer be the joke of a beer company and everything that she said that everyone thought it would be. In other words, not let it be another frat house um beer company. You know, then she was on the leave and then also led to the CEO to be on leave as well. I wonder how that went down behind the scenes. So the company is running out of time to fix the problem as the summer selling season unofficially started last weekend and Memorial Day is in two weeks, two like about almost two a little over two months from now. Last week, the company held a meeting at its um, U.S. headquarters in St. Louis with distributors to discuss its strategy for dealing with the backlash. Kind of like you mean where they go ahead and put coupons out there for an audience of men that don't even use coupons, giving them 20 bucks back and everything if they get the whole Bud Light and everything from the source? Makes no sense. 
The Post learned among the new initiatives planned is a temporary redesign of its Budweiser and Bud Light aluminum bottles, according to the distributor who did not want to be identified. Anheuser-Busch will produce bottles with the camouflage print and images. Ah, so they're going the military route where they're going to go ahead and salute to the to those who well to salute to soldiers. But this is Memorial Day. Memorial Day are for those who are fallen in the line of combat. You know, from the Army, Navy, Marines, so on and so forth. Those who gave their lives and um and sacrificed their lives for us to keep our rights. You know, but the thing is. If they want to do this, they should have done it on a, like, they might as well wait until Veterans Day. Well, at least then you celebrate the veterans who actually give their lives and stuff and then come home to their families and everything after fighting for our rights and our, um, and their, uh, and, and for us, you know? But, it's like they're doing this, they're calling it the Folds of Honor program, which provides educational scholarships for children and spouses of fallen or disabled American military service members and first responders, according to the executive. Now, the thing is, if you want to do this, you better apologize and be more um, transparent with why that whole, the whole thing went down. Also, you got to make plans with how are we going to reverse this? How are we going to garner the trust of the um, public back, of your customers back? How are you going to get your core customers back, you know? But this really isn't a way to do it. They, the people want accountability. The people want transparency. The people want to know what's going to happen with that one particular VP. Will she be fired? Will she be let go? Will she be forced to resign? That's all they want. At some new, um, no, the redesign is part of Anheuser Busch's efforts to invest heavily in the brand this spring and summer, as the Post reported. The company kicked off the blitz during the NFL draft at the end of April. At some New York grocery stores this weekend, the company offered customers a free T-shirt with the logo Ultra Mom for anyone who bought Michelob Ultra products. Other likely marketing strategies um, expect, um, speculate, including discounting this excuse me, discounting beer at retail stores, like I just told you all before. The coupons invested heavily in sports marketing and incorporating the U.S. military and country and Western music, um, farmers, law enforcement, and first responders into the advertising. In other words, going ahead along the Bible Belt as well as the Rust Belt to go ahead and get those the people who um, the customers buy it again. You know. People who live in rural areas and stuff. That's what that's what this is stating. So beer drinkers across across the country have registered their outrage against Anheuser Busch for tapping Mulvaney to promote Bud Light. The breweries breweries core customers opted not to order Bud Light at bars and restaurants, and more recently, other brand um beer brands Anheuser Busch owns or pick up cases in six packs in grocery stores. The LGBT LGBTQ community also denounced Anheuser Busch for backing away from the promotion and not defending its decision to align with Mulvaney. So, in other words, even those who are part of the LGBTQ um, community are angry with the company because of the fact that they're not uh, continuing with the course as well as continuing to defend why they decided to go ahead and attack with um side with Mulvaney. And it's like you know. Like I they said in yesterday's video, there's division within that community. Go ahead, check the video out, by the way. And how to Bush placed two marketing executives, Alyssa Heinerschild, Heinerschild, the vice president of marketing, who I just talked about, and her boss, Daniel Blake, the CEO, on leave last month. So this is pretty interesting because of the fact that we have here a company that decided to go woke now is starting to go broke. That's all it is. You know, I'm not an alcohol drinker. I, I don't drink beer. I haven't touched alcohol since 2006 because of the fact that, you know, right now we got a company here going ahead and it also goes into detail saying here, the, um, the top exec executive of Bud Light's parent company, Anheuser Bush, earlier this month, um, disavowed the Mulvaney type where he said we need to clarify the facts that was that this was one can, one influencer, one post, and not a campaign. That's not enough, according to the customers. The customers don't only want that. They don't care if it's just him on one can, or just um, Mulvaney on one can. They want to um, know why was this done in the first place. And also, they were also important. Uh, what's important is that they are upset even further with what the VP has said. 
They're tired of different companies putting more content out there and they don't want to see it um, for something that they buy from the grocery store. Let alone, you can't have a conversation while drinking Bud Light about what's happening with the um, issues when it comes to something that has nothing to do with them. So let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below. What do you think about the fact that the sales are starting to go even further? How low do you think it's going to go? What percentage do you think is going to be seeing a turnaround? Or do you think that the company will suffer and then just do away with Bud Light entirely and keep all the other brands and stuff? Let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below. Let me know what I went wrong in the video. Also, be sure to comment any additional thoughts of this topic that I did not um, um, spawn upon. Also, if you enjoy what I shared in this video, go ahead and smash the like button, share far wide across social media. If you enjoyed all the content I put out there, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification. So that way you'll be notified of future uploads and updates. Until then, peace.